I'm in the venue just now, down at Oramore, with Lear Butler, who is the author of next week's play, Juicy Fruits. Lear, it's lovely to have you with us. Thanks for coming. It's great to be here. Tell us a bit about the play. Um, <clears throat> it's a very strange, surreal comedy about two friends who haven't seen each other in about six years. Uh, and meet, uh, meeting together meeting together after six years and, and having a coffee together. <laughs> that's basically the play. That's a, that's a, that's a good start. <laughs> and with, with lots of caffeine and sugar and croissants, their, their amicable relationship turns a little bit sour as it goes on. Right. One, of, one, of the, uh, one of the friends has settled down uh, with, a, with a barrister husband and yeah. a baby. And, uh, very much a suburbanite, right. uh, a metropolitan suburbanite. Right. Uh, her friend Nina, uh, who's, who wanted to meet her at this cafe, has been travelling uh, the rainforests in Borneo, taking yeah. care of uh, uh, orang orangutans yes. with her uh, dreadlocked boyfriend Kevin. And she's just <laughs> returned from Borneo. We don't quite know why. Well, I know why, right. but the play doesn't reveal why straight away. Yet. So no, but, and uh, so it begins. It begins fairly amicable, but very quite quite quickly it turns to a kind of madness. Yeah. Uh, which which and uh, and um, yeah, we we dis we discover why. Yeah. Uh, together. It's in a way it's almost a comedy of manners as well as uh, yeah. uh, it's dark. And it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, it started. I started writing it just as two friends having a cup of coffee and seeing. Uh, seeing where, where it was going, and the more I wrote, the kind of the darker and the stranger it, it became. Yeah. So I kind of discovered why they were there as I was writing. Um, so it was it was a really fun play to write, and um, I think it's yeah I think it's I think perhaps shedding an insight or trying to shed some kind of insight into why w women maybe of a certain age have, uh, have deal with the deal with how. The, the prospect of having chil having children but also being independent. Right. Uh, I think that, that the clash of those two yeah. of those two things. Uh, and it's quite explicit in the two. The difficulty of being satisfied with the hand you're dealt with. Yeah. And they're both chronically dissatisfied with yes. who, who they who they are, whether it's going off and being an, an adventurer yes. in the in the wild or whether it's being uh, you know, effectively a stay a stay a stay at home mum. Yeah. They're both chronically dissatisfied, so how do they do And I have to tell you, it's very funny. Um, Leo, you've been very busy. Uh, recently, you, you, you've written a play about Osama bin Laden. Yep. And you've written a rock musical. Yes. Set. Uh, it's, well, it was set it's contemporary, uh, contemporary rock opera. Um, and um, it was really kind of inspired by classic rock, op rock operas like um, Abrathenia yeah. and, and The Wall. Right. And do, do something in that vein rather than doing something that's maybe pastiche or kind of a, a jukebox musical. Do something that's purely rock opera that's, of course, lively and funny, but also has a real, real heart that's right. contemporary. So that was great. To, that, that was great to do. And again, a, f a female uh, protagonist. Right. I think the first female uh, lead character in, 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 a, in a rock opera. Right. Who's again chronically dissatisfied. Right. A theme that's really doing right. work. And uh, and uh, and uh, when she reaches the the end of her tether, she withdraws withdraws or regresses into a into a sort of hallucinatory world called Catfish Club. Right. And finds her inner rock goddess. Right. And then and then returns uh, and then returns to the real. Uh, and that was world. that was commissioned by the Royal Court. Yeah, it was part. It was an experiment that the Royal Court did allow, allowed me uh, allowed, allowed me and my writing partner to to, to do to put on a. On a rock opera. And you're also a guitarist. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I played the Wrote the music for the piece. Yep, wrote the music and the lyrics and was on stage playing and that was. Wow, well, that's so was good. There might be an fun. opportunity for a 50 minute rock opera here. Do it, yeah, great. You should do it, they'd love it. Excellent. Um, you've, also, you've also got lots of stuff in the pipeline. You, you've just written or are writing a new play about gangsters in Sheffield? Yeah, I've actually been writing it for quite a while. It's kind of, it's, it's been, it's kind of a. A labour of love for, yeah. this, uh, for this play. This play I wanted to write for a lot of years. I'm from Sheffield, uh -huh. and I know, in, and um, being from Sheffield, there's a there's a long sort of folk history, quite famous folk history of uh, 
in Sheffield. Uh, and one of the one of those stories being about the gangsters, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the gang wars in Sheffield in the 1920s mm -hmm. that, that occurred straight after the First World War, yes. when the when the city when the country was in kind of economic disarray, yes. and, out, and out of that grew these uh, gangs who pro basically profiteered from from the depression. Yes. and it's about it's about the gang wars and. Uh, um, specifically about a gangster called George Mooney, right. uh, and and who was kind of the king, the king of the city at that time. Uh -huh. really. But it's about his downfall. So you work a few lives place in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, I think he, I think he probably went to Glasgow a few, yeah, a few times. I bet he did. <laughs> probably when he was on the on the, on the run from the uh, yeah. on the run from the the war office. Right. <laughs> But um, yeah, and so, so that's a lot of, and that's kind of, that's, it, um, it, it, it's kind of part Western, part Greek tragedy. Right. It should be a lot of fun. And that we, that, that's been commissioned by Hampstead Theatre. Yeah. yeah. Well, Leo is a very busy, very talented playwright, and I am delighted that we're producing his play Juicy Fruits next week, and I urge you to come and see it, because I think you'll have a great lunchtime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.